I just want to record Evelyn falling in the mud, but it didn't happen. So that's why, and that's why it's going to happen to me now. As we explore the area around our camp, we stumble upon a group of bears fishing for salmon. It's an incredible sight, but we panic and unfortunately don't get any usable footage. With bear spray in hand, we quickly decide it's best to leave the forest. We are Evelyn and Ferenc. Follow us on our adventures as we share our overland trips from all around the world. We left um, the Kenai Lake today. Uh, it was an interesting camp uh, with lots of people around. And now we are headed. Now we are headed towards Whittier or Whittier. I don't know how to pronounce it. And the interesting part is that there is a long tunnel that leads to the town that is shared by cars and the train at this on the same track, on the same uh, lane. So. There is a period in within an hour when the train goes and the other part of the hour uh, is the cars. So we are headed towards the toll booth now and then uh, we will see if uh, like how, how long do we have to wait. We will try to spend the night in Whittier and uh, our plan is to meet with uh, Sven and Caroline again. We're cruising through the Anton Anderson Memorial Tunnel and it's nothing like we've ever experienced. At two and a half miles long, it's the longest highway tunnel in North America and the fact that it's shared by cars and trains makes it even more interesting. As we emerge from the tunnel, we find ourselves in the town itself. Whittier is a tiny close-knit town with just over 200 residents, almost all living in the iconic Big Itch Towers. The whole place feels like a hidden gem tucked away in Prince William Sound and we can't wait to explore it. Now we are in Whittier, which is a very tiny village or town uh, on, on the beginning of the, at the beginning of the Kenai Peninsula. So this is Whittier's main building where everybody lives. We had a fantastic evening. It's, it's a gorgeous place. We are quite unlucky with the weather. It shouldn't be this rainy. It rains all the time. And then we got to talk to a really nice couple when we were standing at this spot last night. And they kindly offered to take us out on a boat tour in the bay. We got invited on a boat. Craig and Susanna invited us on their boat and they're taking us out. And we are in Whittier, which is like could be one of the most amazing places to to be on a boat in Alaska. Really exciting. It was gorgeous. It was uh, so special getting out and seeing this bay so close. Uh, I cannot even describe it. I don't think this footage will 
actually show how beautiful it is and what kind of and what kind of a great experience this was to be out in Alaska on a boat in the bay with with really kind and nice locals. It's just, it was just fantastic. It was Greg and Susanna and Susanna is actually half Czech, half, half Czech, half Hungarian. They're married. I guess they live between Europe and, and uh, Alaska. And if you're watching this, thank you very much. And they are legends. Uh, and the four of us, we were out on this boat, just watching it, trying to spot wildlife. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. Lots of ruins there. there are lots of ruins, beautiful beaches, beautiful Tulum. As we wrap up our adventure in Whittier, we're heading out of town with smiles on our faces despite the constant rain. We spot a massive cruise ship in the harbour, which holds way more people than the town's entire population. Tourism is definitely a big part of the local economy here. On our way out, we wait our turn to go through the tunnel again. No charge this time since you only pay on the way in. We love Whitty Inn, it was really nice. But a lot of water. Lot of Next, we are off to Anchorage for one more night and then we are heading east. It's been an unforgettable couple of days and we can't wait for the next part of our adventure in Alaska.